Yes, that's right. Uh, hey, folks, it's me, uh, former President B. Obama, and I'm gonna play uh, Halo Wars uh, 2. Let's get this going. Here we are aboard uh, this spaceship. It's a very nice spaceship, a lot of big guns. Hey, it's Sergeant Jordy LaForge. You know, a lot of people wonder, uh, does the president ever, you know, touch himself in the White House? And the answer to that is yes. In honor of a great man who freed the slaves, I use the Lincoln bedroom to free my little slaves every night. In fact, every president has had a FAP room going all the way back to uh, William Howard Taft. Uh, Taft used to FAP in a bathtub until he got stuck in it. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt used to FAP on the back of a horse. Uh, some say it was the only way he could get off was by being on a horse. Gross. Yeehaw! That's my best Dukes of Hazard right there. I see plasma burns. Lots of them. You should have seen the plasma burns I left on Mitt Romney in our last debate. Well, that was a long time ago, though. I shouldn't live in the past. Michelle keeps telling me that. But man, I crank up my rancid CDs, and I watch the old debates, and I get a little hard in the pants. You know, I'm thinking about growing a mustache and running for president in 2020. I think I could probably get away with it, considering uh, the state of the nation. I could just stand up there with my mustache and say, isn't it about time we had another Irish Catholic in the White House? Have to get out of here. And everyone would go, yay! Hey, look at all those Spartans. Yeah, I know what it is. I know the game. I know all about games. Spartans. Oh, what's that guy called? Brute. That's right, a brute. Oh, see, now this here is why we can't have nice things. Look at this gorilla. He's causing all kinds of chaos. You know, this wouldn't have happened if those Spartans would have brought some donuts with them. Brutes love uh, donuts. Get a big box of Tim Hortons? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, yeah, Brutes are from Canada. You know, I've tried to give Trump some advice from time to time. I email him on his uh, Hotmail account. Uh, but one time I tried to tell him um, to take a box of donuts with him when he goes to talk to Justin Trudeau. Because, boy, does that fella love a maple nut log. This is very exciting. I'm having a good time driving my Jeep over across these roads. Yeah, not to brag or anything, but I was just ranked the 12th best president of all time by my wife and a 93 historian. Now see this here brute, he's a real turkey burger. The brute, their leader, his name is Donald Trump. Donald Trump was the first to defy the covenant and survive. You know how he did it? He did it by taking their heads off. And his defiance inspired others. Like this guy, Larry. And this guy over here, Jim. And this guy, Clarence, and his brother, Daryl. Uh, these brutes are real, real characters. You get them drinking, and they, they'll tell you jokes all night. They're very funny. We need to run as far and as fast as we can. Yeah, something tells me run ain't in this guy's vocabulary. Yeah, on a big ship like this, uh, everyone gets real bored and hypersexualized. They'll land on a planet, and they will fuck everything. Come on, Marines, let's go find something to rub against our genitalia. Hey, look, there's some critters to rub upon our genitalia. Not since the Revolutionary War have two sides stood on open ground firing at each other like a bunch of idiots. Uh, this looks like uh, uh, StarCraft. Yeah, I played the original StarCraft. I had an old compact laptop. Angela Merkel and I used to play StarCraft all the time. Uh, her gamer tag is StarCraft32. I don't know why 32 probably has something to do with the Nazis. I'm kidding, of course. Those Germans, they love Nazi jokes. You know, I gotta be honest with you. Ever since Trump's election, I have no fucking idea what's funny and what's not anymore. Is a dead baby funny? Ah, could be. Nazi jokes, are they funny? An old man falling on the ice and hitting his head and dying, is that funny? Ah, could be. 
Hey guys, let's look around here and see if we can find a cave. I've recently taken up spelunking as a hobby and it sure is fun. In fact, I recently bought a cave in North Carolina. I forget what it was called when we bought it, but I've changed the name to Obama Cave. It kind of looks like Obamacare, except uh, instead of the R, there's a V. Obama Cave. They used to give tours of the cave, but we don't do that. I've been throwing garbage into it. I'm looking to fill it up, and then I'm going to sell it to Trump. Make him clean it up. Light it up, everybody. We are going to destroy this base. We have destroyed the base. Yay, we destroyed the base. Just like I predicted. This is Decimus. Why have you ceased production? Explain yourselves. Uh, Decimus, hi. Uh, former President Barack Obama here. I have a great explanation for why production has ceased. Uh, we lit all those guys on fire and they burned to death. Oh, and we pissed on them. We, we peed on their bodies. It was a lot of fun, Decimus. I can't wait to pee on you. Now that the base is constructed, we need to build a whorehouse for all these horny space marines. Supply pads will bring in a steady stream of supplies to help you build your army. And a whorehouse will bring in a steady supply of venereal disease. And a generator so you can start producing power. We also need the generator to run the twinkly lights in the whorehouse. Infantry are your front line in battle and one of your most adaptable units on the field. And speaking of adaptable units, I think the whorehouse should have a transgender prostitute or two. They won't need a restroom, they can just pee on the clients. Do you hear that, Donald Trump? We'll have rubber sheets on all the beds. It'll be great. If you enjoy small episodes of excitement followed by expanses of boredom, Halo Wars 2 is for you. You know what these brutes really need? They need some social justice. Uh, that's right. Come on, social justice marines, let's go! And get your guns, because it's time to get triggered. We are going to identify uh, words that are hurtful and uh, exclusionary thoughts, and we're going to make them pay. They'll wish they were never born! They'll wish they were never born. You know, I bet uh, Decimus and his alien friends are anti-vaxxers. They're all like, no, we can't put that poison into our bodies. Uh, we have to uh, let a certain percentage of our children die from uh, curable and preventable diseases. I mean, you can tell that Decimus has polio. Just look at it. He's all swollen and bloated. Is that polio? Does that do that to you? Is that mumps? Mumps. He's got mumps. Hey, did you guys hear uh, Kim Jong-un's half-brother was killed by a practical joke? Yeah. They they put poison on him. Uh, one minute he's eating at a Cinnabon in an airport, the next minute he's dead. Nailed it. I'm surprised North Korea could figure poison out. I'm surprised they didn't try to kill him with a hammer. You know, they just discovered hammers last year. Oh, yeah, look at that. I unlocked an achievement. I got a skull, baby. Yeah, 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 Decimus, I hear you, blah, 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 you're gonna die, all that. I haven't been keeping track. Have any of my Space Marines died? Uh, why, have, why hasn't anybody told me about it? Come on, use those grenades, Marines. Uh, don't let them get around your outside. Damn it, I'm losing a lot of Space Marines here, guys. Uh, this isn't looking good for us, fellas. I, I have a feeling we bit off more than we could chew. We shouldn't have focused so much on the whorehouse, guys. Reinforcements are on their way. Get in here. Kill these mofos. Yay, we did it. Uh, folks. Oh, no. Dick's out for Harambe, everybody. Decimus looks like some kind of gorilla. I'm not kidding. He's got a monkey face. Uh, yeah, I got a secret about Harambe I want to tell you. Uh, we cloned him. And we've got three different Harambe's uh, in, in a cage under the White House. There's one of them is his IQ is 185. He wears a suit and tie. Uh, the second one uh, is he's like a surfer dude. Uh, but the third Harambe is of average gorilla intelligence. Unfortunately, he is incredibly racist. He's always signing things about the Chinese and the gays and the Mexicans. I don't know who taught him this shit.
folks, for more videos like this one here, subscribe to Game Society. And uh, to check out a website with voices on it, go to jasonsvoices.com. And for pictures of Harambe, Google pictures of Harambe. Uh, good night.